Hello, my name is Greg Scherer, and I'm the Chief Technology Officer for QLogic Corporation. Today I'd like to talk to you about some new developments in the data center, specifically 25 gigabit and 50 gigabit Ethernet. I know some of you might be saying, wait a minute, what about 40 gigabit? Wasn't that the next speed node for Ethernet? And you'd be right if we were talking just a few short years ago. But with the advent of 100 gigabit, now being comprised uh, in the simplest manner is four lanes of 25 gigabit. There's also a 10 by 10, but that's largely been supplanted with four ports of 25 or four lanes of 25. As we look forward into the future, the developers of, of the technology realized, wait a minute, if I have a single lane that's running at 25 gigabit, why wouldn't I use that instead of going all the way to four lanes that is how 40 gigabit is comprised. Because essentially what happens is, is the cost of the port, whether that's a switch port or an adapter port, is largely controlled by the number of lanes or serializer deserializers that, that, are, that are employed. So the fewer number of lanes, the less cost. So now we have a four lane 25 gig, 100 gig port that can also function as four lanes of 25 independent ports or potentially two ports of 50 gigabit. Very interesting things and from a TCO standpoint or that total cost of ownership, there's no lower cost way to get the kind of bandwidth that 25 and 50 gigabit afford. It was originally driven by a consortium led by data center companies, Microsoft and Google, and switch companies, Arista, Broadcom, and Mellanox. They actually formed the core of a group that was gonna drive and has driven both uh, 25 and 50 gigabit, as well as the standardization process to make sure that everybody built it the same way. Along the way, the IEEE uh, decided that, you know, 25 gigabit has a very strong and compelling value proposition, so they've jumped on board and there's an official uh, work group that's actually developing an official IEEE standard for 25 gigabit as well. So we're very excited that QLogic was actually the first adapter company to sample 25 gigabit capable uh, silicon. We actually have it in the form of adapters that we've sampled since late 2014. And uh, this forms the basis for a very flexible offering that supports 10 gigabit, 25 gigabit, 40 gigabit, 50 gigabit, and even all the way to 100 gigabit capability. But in essence, what I'd like you to take away is that 25 gigabit is not uh, a passing standard. It's actually something that's here to stay because it is the lowest possible way to instantiate high bandwidth devices. It gives you two and a half times the performance of 10 gig at a single lane cost with largely the same infrastructure, cabling and an optical environment as we had with 10 gigabit. If you need more performance than 25 gigabit affords, you can move to, to 50 gigabit, which is just two lanes of 25 gig, or all the way to 100 gigabit with four lanes of 25 gigabit that are bonded in a hardware manner, multi-lane descriptor, MLD capability. So keep your eye on the data center. 25 gigabit is here to stay, and uh, QLogic has the broadest line of adapters that support it. Thank you very much. QLogic's Ethernet products and solutions have shipped millions of 10 gig Ethernet ports into the data centers of leading companies and service providers around the world. Our current generation of QLogic FastLink Intelligent Ethernet Adapters and Converge Networking Adapters can be purchased through QLogic's global network of authorized reseller partners. For more information, please visit our Where to Buy page on QLogic's corporate website or contact a QLogic sales representative today.